Good afternoon YouTube. It's a beautiful day here in New Zealand. I'm just sat um, in my orchid chair that my uh, husband bought me in my for my orchid house. Um, I'll just get up and show you. It's a second hand chair but it's a lovely, lovely, um, let's get back here out of the way so you can see it better. Whoops. There you go. So I talked about in the last video how uh, we are going to be getting rid of the spa. You see it's it's rather green. It really does need um, emptying and cleaning out. I need to get some new filters and that for it. But I opened it today because I wanted to see if I could increase the humidity in here. Um, it's a beautiful day. Um, I'll just show you the temperature currently. 30 with only 27% humidity and I've got foggers going on full blast one there one down there um, that fogger over there is uh, giving up the ghost so I need to get a new one for that side um, but I thought well let's see if I can uh, increase the humidity by opening that I mean it is going I've, I've told you where I'm going to put it um, next weekend we will have to redo the floor a little bit um, but yeah I'll be glad to get rid of it and I've got myself one of these um, trolleys which is a it's actually a tool trolley on wheels and um, I've got all my stuff in there so I'll be able to operate in there all my feed and whatever you what I do and um, I should be putting one shelving rack at the back there and then I'll be just using tables and um, and I've got to bring a lot of stuff in from um, outside that needs to be overwintered. So what's happening in the orchid house? Um, nothing really, everything's looking good. Those um, begonia rexes are absolutely stunning, the green ones, they seem to be doing better than any. Um, these are going alright, this one's doing alright, but I may take those in the house to keep them in over winter. Um, the streptos are flowering. Um, these are the ones that I got in the spring, so I've managed to bring them into flower. The white one's going back there. This lovely variegated purple one, I like that one. And there are others that have got evidence of, um, you know, flower spikes coming in them here and there so that's good um the uh oh what are they called again i always forget the name of these and i can't pronounce it anyway but they're doing <laughs> oh god i should really learn sarcoli sarcolius sarcolius so they're all doing well um some nice green roots coming on this little one here. You can see that lovely little green root. The other roots have died back, but well, that one's doing alright. He needs to be a bit more stable in that pot. And the other ones at the back are doing well. The Mastervillias down on the bottom, bottom shelf are getting lots of humidity and they really like that. And everything else is looking good. Um, yeah. Um, I did have a visit from the Orchid Society last weekend. They came in. We had a look around. I think they were um, pretty impressed, I'm pleased to say. Um, and it was great to have um, some of more experienced growers have a look around and say how healthy my plants were looking and how things were doing really well. Um, I've got some in flower on this table here. Uh, go around this way so we can have a look at them a bit better. So no name metoniopsis last flower just going over then I've got this little beautiful orangey yellowy cattleya which is that one I've got another little cattleya here that's not quite fully open yet and that is that one come on focus there you go um 
what do we else have we got? We've got this one here, which is rather pretty. And that is, uh, get me hand in there if I can get the label out. There we go. Motassia William Kirsch Tracy. So that's that one. Um, I'm going to step on a dog. Another pretty Motoniopsis with a white edge in. Gorgeous, that one. Free blooms on that one, and that is Isler Red. Isler's Red. And last but not least, oh no, not last, this, uh, this beautiful Catlia still going. I guess you knocked the bud off that one when it arrived. That was me. So that's a pretty girl. And last but not least, this one, which is still going. And that one's doing pretty good. And that's, uh, I think that's a Miltonia. Yeah, Miltonia. Connie. Warren Gold. Bars on Sidium Crispum. So yeah, so that's really good. We'll just have a look at the, um, the ones that are coming into bud. So, if you can see some nice big buds I'm hoping these are buds oh let me catch it in a minute I'm hoping these are buds and not kikis I'm reliably informed that they do go opposite like that so they're they're developing nicely um, flower spike back there uh, I've got some others going on here I've got a feeling this one's got some swellings either side of the leaves so I'm hoping that's going to develop into a flower spike I've got flower spikes oh I don't know if you can see them they're not very big get, get the leaves out of the way uh, can you see down there that white hopefully you can see that that's a flower spike developing and I've got a feeling there's another flower spike coming on this. This particular growth here feels quite fat in that at the end. I don't know, I could be mistaken, but I've got a feeling that that's going to be another flower spike on that one. Uh, yeah, so I think that's about it. Um, everything's looking good. I'm really pleased with my trolley. I'm really pleased with my chair. And um, we'll get the spa pool out. Oh, and look at that. I started filming and it was 27. I only just opened the lid. It is now 37. So obviously that great body of water is helping. So maybe I should keep the spa in here. No, no, it's got to go. <laughs> I'd rather just wet the floor down and have a bit of humidity like that because it's it's a rubber floor. Um, yeah, and even if it goes through, it'll, it'll run down through. So... Yeah, no, I'll keep, I'll get rid of the spa. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like or dislike and subscribe and I'll catch you later. Bye for now.